almond chocolate chip cookies. I am so excited to show these to you because everybody loves them. They're very popular, very popular with the kids and the adults who love to eat them, but also popular for the ones who are making them because all you need is a bowl and a spoon. So, three cups almond meal. One, I put two in there, three. Six tablespoons, watch because it's gonna be finished before you know it. Six tablespoon agave syrup. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And six tablespoon canola oil. This is crazy, crazy easy. One, two, three, you can tell I'm excited, right? Four, five, six. Okay, this is about the difficulty of this, of this uh, cookie recipe. You start to mix, and I'm gonna put the chocolate chips in there. Start to mix this, and that's it. That's gonna be it, you're not gonna believe it. It is so yummy. It's a gluten-free for, for those who are sensitive to wheat. And, oh my God, it's so, so yummy. I mean, you, I guess you could put it in a mixer to make it go a little faster, but there's no need for it, no need. You'll see. So, well, let me, let me rush to do my three chocolate, three quarter cup chocolate chip, bittersweet. I like bittersweet, 50% cocoa. Um, chocolate chips. I like the nice big ones from um, uh, Ghirardelli, but you can use others. Just, you know, don't use the milk chocolate ones. There's unnecessary sweetness and milk and all that. Um, and by the way, yeah, this is vegan. No eggs, no milk, no nothing. Just deliciousness. So there you go. Here it is. I, I should, let me mix it a little bit more with my hands just so that you see what you want to end up with. It ends up being kind of like a ball. Oh, oh mm. and you could eat it right out of the bowl. I don't recommend you do that only because you're going to eat the whole thing. So there you go. And then, so that they're uniform, I love to use my little, um, little ice cream scooper. And you do one of those. Nice and tight and whoop. And nice and tight. So they're all uniform because you're gonna to wanna to bake this at a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for eight minutes, no more. Let it come out and cool and melt in your mouth, delicious. So you get the idea. Oh my goodness, this has been my savior so many times when the kids tell me, mom, remember you had, you had promised you would do this thing for this baking sale or whatever it was? Oh my goodness, so I would, just put this in two minutes, put it in the oven. The time for it to cool off, I was at the door. Delicious. Enjoy.